Hey, um, this is Stacia, and today we're going to take a look at a blitz game um, that was very interesting. It goes into a very sharp line of the Smithmore Gambit that I call the early pin variation, and you get some very interesting positions. So let's have a look at this one and see what we can learn. So it starts off with E4, C5, and D4, the Smithmore Gambit. C takes C3, they accepted the pawn, and knight takes C3. Now they chose E6, and here I develop normally with knight to F3, and they played bishop to B4. So this is the, the pin variation, and there's a couple ways to play this. Um, I feel like possibly a better way is to go knight c6 first and then after bishop c4 then go for the pin. I feel like this is a little bit better because of the line of the game. Here I would just castle and if black wants to take, I think we're okay with this. Um, we'll still have compensation for a pawn and I'll check with the engine now to see. Yeah, it says knight g to e7. The position's equal, which means we do have compensation for a pawn here. Okay. Anyway, in the actual game, now turn the engine back off. They did not play knight c6. So this allows for um, this move, queen d4, which I think is really interesting. I did get this move from Mark Esserman in the book Mayhem and the Mora. One of my favorite chess books ever. It's really awesome. It's not just an opening book. Like he, he has very descriptive um, and picturesque um, uh, writing. Anyway, um, this is a bit of a fork, so so Black's gonna have to do something here. They'll generally go ahead and take. This is their idea. Um, but now we could just take with the queen. And this is what Esterman recommends. And he says after this in bishop d3, you know, white's just a little better. So I guess if we play knight c6, bishop d3, let's see what the engine says. Make sure. Um, I mean, the engine says black is a little bit better after. Oh, okay. It's changing its mind. <laughs> I can't trust the, the engines that haven't ran very long. Okay, it says knight of six positions equal, so so we have compensation for a pawn. So yay, that works. But you know what? I uh, I really like this other way of playing. <laughs> I can't help myself. B takes C3. This is such an interesting move to me. Um, I got this from the computer because, and, and like a long time ago, and I've been playing it for a long time now. And... Okay, I mean, why are we doing this? Um, well, I have some ideas. Um, I think knight c6 might be a good move now, though. Or no, it's not. Because if knight c6, we take on g7. I almost forgot about this. Yeah, and now if they are trying to go into this to play queen f6, which at first glance looks annoying, we're going to trade queens because they're attacking the queen, they're attacking this with check, that's going to be a fork. And in the meantime, the knight is guarding the queen. So it looks like a good move, but we can play bishop h6. And you know what? I originally got this from Marcus Emma too, so. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how. <laughs> um, but here, um, this move is really cool because now if they take we take and the rook's trapped and if they you know let's say they take the bishop we can win a queen because it was guarding that and if they do something random which they probably shouldn't oh and by the way the queen's x-ray defending this but we have checkmate and i have gotten this in blitz games a couple times where they try something and then I just play checkmate there. <laughs> so this is funny. Um, now I have looked at 
Like, what could black do? Like, if black wants to continue, like, with the best move. Let's see. What on earth could black do here? I mean, they could just leave all that, I think. Like, what if they go um, knight e5? Knight e5 seems... Does this even work, though? Takes, take... No, it doesn't work, right? No, that just loses. Yeah, we just mate them, first of all. <laughs> but even if we take, um, I don't think this is good either. So <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking with that move. Um, that's clearly not best. I'm going to ask the computer. Wow, computer just wants to take on age six. Um, but if they do that, um, okay, I will take this. And then it wants to go king f8. Okay, and it says that white's better. I mean, white's up material. And, okay, at least the queen is a little uncomfortable now. But, okay, with the engine back off. Um, I've seen another line there, but I can't quite remember how it went. It must have been a slightly different position or something. Okay, so anyway, um, in the actual game, they didn't go knight c6, allowing uh, queen takes g7. They instead played knight to f6. This is the one of the normal moves I see. To first block that, and then go knight c6. And that is what my opponent did. So I like to go e5. And if they go knight d5, I can just go queen g4. And what's nice about this is it comes with tempo, and it stops castling, because if they castle, now bishop h6... Yeah, how do you protect your pawn? The only way is to give up the exchange. So that's kind of a nice point of that. So my opponent played this right. I, they went knight c6, which I think is the right move. First, let's misplace the queen. So I just went queen f4. This is probably right. Now they move with tempo, but I have the choice of these two squares to once again line up on g7. Uh, I thought g3 was right. Let's see if it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, okay, and once again, if they castle, I will go bishop h6. So that's still a threat. Um, and I'm also offering up a pawn. Now, they, they can take, and I have discoveries. Um, my opponent played g6. Yeah, they can't take, because I'll take on g7. That can't be good, right? Let's just have a look. This is this knight looks good, but I now I take on g7. That pawn wasn't in the way. We would have a fork. So I guess they would go here. Oh, maybe I just have bishop h6 now. They'd probably have to go queen e7. I mean, we can take this. We can even take this of a material. I'll see what the computer wants. Computer wants knight g5. It does like queen takes h7. It also likes bishop d3. Just get all our pieces out. Knight g5, it likes the best. Probably threatening knight takes h7. Hitting that again. That looks annoying. Interesting. So anyway, um, so my opponent played g6, and I mean, that move's probably fine, but um, I mean, you know, now I've got the dark squares to work with over here. This is part of what I really like about this line. You can almost always provoke some pretty significant weaknesses. <laughs> but at the same time, it's like your queen side is so shaky. I mean, sometimes I get just obliterated on the queen side when I play this. And sometimes black gets checkmated or loses material pretty fast too. So, um, so okay, g6, and I play bishop g5. Now, all my moves I have pretty much seen before in similar positions until here. Now I wasn't sure what to do anymore. I mean, bishop h6 is something, bishop g5. I want bishop g5 provoking queen a5. 
<laughs> you might say, why do I want to provoke that? Well, I'm trying to seize this diagonal and especially the f6 square. Just a bishop on f6 is just so powerful. And um, so let's see if the engine likes this choice. Um, so, okay, this is interesting for me to know. The engine just wants to play bishop d3. And I have a hard time playing this move myself because to me, it looks like I'm just aiming at a brick wall over here, but we are getting ready to castle. And is there another point to this bishop? I'm not sure. I'm also blocking the potential defense of c3, which I was thinking about. But, you know, sometimes black will need to push this pawn. And then this bishop is going to play a role because if they do, we might have sex on g6 and stuff like that. So maybe that's the idea. I really have no idea. Um, I'm just going to play a couple moves for black and see what the computer wants to show us about the position. Um, computer says they would just castle. Okay, so I guess we're just playing this position. Um, it wants b5 for black. Uh, b5, I wouldn't necessarily come up with because that hangs a pawn. Um, okay, what about, I mean, queen a5 to me is is a move. It It's x-ray attacking this again. It's putting pressure here. Um, here we can just play c4. Okay, I've seen this advance before. Yeah, and now that we're castled, we have this option. So, okay, what if they didn't castle and they just went queen a5 right away? Let's see what the computer would do here. Um, it says we just go bishop d2. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's the only good move, apparently. So bishop d2, and if they take, um, now we win because... Black has placed themselves placed themselves in a pin, and I think Rook C1 attacking the pinned piece. I don't see a way to save it. Okay, so engine back off. Let's continue because this gets very interesting. Um, it's already, I think these positions are so interesting. Um, so Queen A5. Now I wanted to provoke Queen A5 because this is when it gets really sharp. Okay, so Queen A5 and um here i played knight d2 i've seen this idea before um i don't know if this works or not let's see my idea was that if knight c3 i was gonna go knight to b6 and now if they try to discover and win the queen i take their queen they take my queen and then I take this way, opening up my rook, and they go this way. Is this any good or not? Um, white's slightly better according to the engine. We are going to get bishop f6. We are going to have a nice bishop. We can still castle if we want. I might be tempted, since there's no queen and no dark square bishop, I probably would play f3 and king f2 and just hide out on f2 <laughs> leave this rook here um anyway that was the idea behind this move and i don't know if it was good or not uh engine says bishop d2 is better knight d2 is better for black it says after what happened in the game okay so bishop d2 yeah i mean Okay, we're threatening c4, winning the knight. So it does come with tempo, even though we're moving our bishop a few times. Um, they could just go, let's see, what would they do here? Yeah, and they cannot take as rook c1. So I guess if I was black, I might castle, or I might just move the queen out of the way. Actually, got to move the queen out of the way, right? Queen b6? Queen c7. Let's go queen c7, I guess. And then here, the engine just wants to play bishop d3 and says white is doing great. Okay. Um, but in the game, queen a5, knight d2. And they took with a queen. So, okay. But my point here 
<laughs> I don't know if it's a good one, was, okay, I'm going to take your queen, and your knight is going to come into c3, but is your knight good on c3, or is it misplaced and vulnerable? It's a good question. Also, black does have a queenside pawn majority now, um, but that bishop's not looking too good. Neither is most of the pieces okay so anyway um here i went bishop to c4 engine does not like this at all okay interesting um the engine wants to play h4 hmm h4 i guess developing the rook probably we are going to try to combine this plan with this plan is sort of what I'm thinking here. Okay, but um, yeah, I went bishop c4. It's actually, you know why I did this? It's because I thought, well, first of all, I do want a castle. But second of all, I thought, I'm going to go rook c1 and and I don't want them to take the pawn, so I'm protecting. So they went b5, which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, and here I played rook c1. So I see now the engine thinks black's better, but this position's sharp. It's kind of hard to see um, why black's so much better here. I mean, I guess they're just up two pawns. That's pretty much it. And, and the computer is saying we don't have compensation, but I feel like we do have compensation. Just the computer is too good at figuring out what to do. But humans aren't, as you'll see. <laughs> okay, so here I thought, okay, I'll let them take, which they did. I'll take this. And then I saw that they can take this pawn but then bishop f6 is a fork, but they have a check. They can go knight d3 check. But then I thought I can just simply take. And after takes, I win this rook, and they're not going to be able to take back. So even though um, they have a pretty scary pawn on d3 and another pass pawn on d7, uh, I've got this. That's a that's a rook. That's a rook. That's a bishop. That's a bishop. So I'm up a knight. So rook b8 was played. Yeah, and let's see if all this is right. Um, or see what the engine thinks about it. It did like b4. And after... Oh. Wait a minute. It does give rook c1. Oh b4 yeah i thought they might play this way actually i did think they might and then here i was just going to go bishop f3 i thought or bishop f6 i mean probably rook g8 oh it says like a castle here i did not think about that wow that is really scary to castle there but um unless i get a knight on h6 you know and they could also push the pawn before that happens Oh, I guess it's, without the queen, it's not nearly as scary, right? Like, if I had a queen, that's very scary to have a bishop on f6. But, okay. Um, yeah, but in the game they took, I take, take. Okay. We get this position. Rook b8. So, they're not really threatening rook b8 check because I have it covered, but, and they're really not threatening <laughs> this either. So, both squares are covered. Uh, but I castled anyway, because what else? And king e7, and I think their idea is to play f6, so that my bishop can't escape, and then uh, move this bishop somewhere so they can capture it. I think that was the idea. So I just went rook d1 because I had a plan here. They did play f6, and I thought here I could play knight to e4. Ooh, it's the top engine moves. This part was right. I thought here, if they push f5, my bishop's open again. My bishop's actually a monster, even though he's not even on a typical square. He's like in the opponent's position, <laughs> but he's guarding like some pretty important squares 
from there and also taking stuff away from the king and so I thought this just helps my bishop and otherwise that's attacked he's got to do something about that so he did oops oh no so he did play f5 and I went knight c5 so this allows me to rotate and attack the pawn on d3 and then um, it says here my opponent should play d6 okay I would take and then they should play bishop a6 and computer likes black here um, it actually says that I should go knight b3 and not take probably because of bishop a6 yeah that's actually discovery right that would win the bishop so um, so yeah I would have to go knight b3 and a computer says this position's just equal just pretty fascinating given that I'm up a piece but black's pawns are are pretty nice so that that's why and but in the game they unfortunately just blundered here so not a very not a very great end to such an interesting game but I do think that these lines just the themes that happen in this opening are just so different than usual I think it's quite interesting there's even another crazy line I really hope I can remember it I'll try to remember it um, here I think it comes from this line Actually, can they go queen g5 or queen a5 here? That's what I'm wondering. Queen a5, queen takes, rook f8. I don't know. I don't think they can do this. They probably, I mean, can they do this? It says white's better here, which is hilarious because um, my king's on e2. I mean, they seriously don't have anything. <laughs> um, I guess not. Wow. I mean, if check, we just calmly go knight d2. We're winning. Got to be kidding me. There's this check. King e1, white's completely winning. I mean, it's because we're threatening checkmate. But um, that's a cool line. There's even another one, though, where... Um, I'm trying to find it. I think what happens is here they go g6, maybe. And I would go... Let's say here, queen a5. Yeah, I think it's here. Bishop d2, which looks like a very slow move. We're just trying to castle, and we actually let them take here, I think. I think this is it, because after um, bishop d2, is this right? It actually says black's winning now, so this is not right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Bishop d2, not bishop e2. Bishop e2 actually does lose. So we have to go here. And never mind. I can't find the line, but there's something with like rook c1. And there's a knight on c3. And the point of rook c1 is that the bishop's over here somewhere protecting it, which is sort of unusual. And then we actually have like this crazy skewer at the end where, well, it's really a pin because the knight's on c3 and we're threatening like rook takes c8 checkmate at the end. It's quite awesome. Um, that's another line. It's I probably just had it in a blitz game in a past video, but um, I'm going to gather that line and this one and put it in my chessable because that's what 
us adult improvers do. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the game. I was, um, I really enjoyed uh, analyzing this. I mean, I analyzed it way longer than I, it took to play. <laughs> so um, have a great day and I'll be back with more chess. Okay, bye.